Go to a grocery store in Oregon and you might see Grand Ronde tribal member Steph Littlebird's artwork in the beer aisle. Little Bird is an indigenous artist and writer from Oregon currently living in Las Vegas, Nevada. Like many others of the Pacific Northwest, she has an affinity for the Bend, Oregon-based Deschutes Brewery and recalls positive memories at Deschutes Brewery's Portland Public House in the Pearl District, which served as a gathering place for her a few years ago. So when the opportunity came up to design the packaging for one of their seasonal beers, the Jubileo, she took it. I was asked to submit when they opened it up to Caldera resident, uh, former Caldera residents, and I was like, well, you know, my, I guess I'll, I, I don't know. I wasn't sure my work would really fit with what their brand was. And so I was like, well, I'm, I'll throw my hat in the ring and just see what happens, you know? And um, then they um, evidently selected my work. And so uh, I got a call a couple of months later and um, they offered me the opportunity to design the label for the Jubileo. So, and, and that's what happened. Each year, Deschutes Brewery selects an artist to design the artwork seen on the bottle and case packaging. For the past 30 years, their selection has been from local Bend artists. This year, the brewery wanted to diversify their artist selection, so they partnered with Caldera Art Center and Sisters, which prioritizes selecting people of color for their artists in residence programs, whose artwork advances cultural and social change. Little Bird completed a residency with them earlier in 2021. When Little Bird started working on the design for the brewery, she wanted to set some ethical boundaries. Part of my, like, agreeing to do this was that I would not be um, using indigenous aesthetics or anything that was, like, directly native to um, help them promote their beer because I'm also very aware of, like, our community's struggles with alcoholism. I have alcoholics in my family, and so... Um, for me, I was like, like, I'm doing this for you as a designer. That I'm not, I'm not going to give you anything that is traditional, you know, because I have seen recently um, a few different beer companies hire indigenous artists and then use traditional or like very specific regional styles in their work. And so, like, I really just wanted it to be like me, which is color and mark making and so Mm -hmm. that's that's I really did not want to do that at all and so I made that very clear to them and they were like we would not ask you to do that and so that made me feel good too was like they weren't going to have me like trying to pick some like basket weavings on there or you know what I mean or um use traditional patterns like the you know Chinook and zigzag or something like they did not ask me to do that for the Jubileo Little Bird decided to paint a landscape unlike previous designs She noticed years prior had focused more on the usual holiday themes, but Little Bird went with something more universal and non-denominational. Her design's focal point is a massive yellow moon rising behind dark, snow-covered trees and a lavender night sky. There's this tradition with the shoots and this specific beer each year, and that um, the, the snow that is depicted on it is sort of like people's predictor of how the winter will go so if there's a lot of snow in the jubileo label then that means that they're going to have a snowy winter and if it doesn't have a lot of snow then it's not going to be that bad of a winter (laughs) and mine's mine's actually all snow it's all snow (laughs) so (laughs) i'm like hopefully they will because they need that snowpack up there this year You can read more on this story at smokesignals.org or see the artwork for yourself by visiting your local grocery store's beer aisle.